ओ एफ डी एम और ऑर्थोगनल फ्रीक्वेंसी डिविजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग सो फ्रीक्वेंसी डिविजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग वी हैड अ चैनल अलोकेट टू टू एस ऑन अ स्पेक्ट्रम सो वी डिवाइडेड दैट पर्टिकुलर बैंडविड इंटू मल्टीपल पार्ट एंड वी अलाउ डिफरेंट स्टेशन एंड अलोकेटेड दैम परमानेंटली दैट दे कैन सेंड दे कैन ट्रांसमिट इन दैट फ्रीक्वेंसी ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन चैनल फ्रॉम से एल ए वन वन इज कमिंग फ्रॉम इवन डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ दी स्टेट तो दिस वॉज फ्रीक्वेंसी डिविजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग ऑर्थोगनल फ्रीक्वेंसी डिविजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग The carrier centers are put on orthogonal frequency. Orthogonal means. Let me give you an analogy. This is the Cartesian coordinate system. So you can say three D coordinate system. So x is orthogonal with z, x is orthogonal with y, and y is orthogonal with z. So we can have x, y, z together, though they are orthogonal. So same thing we are doing here. We are taking multiple frequencies, and we are arranging them in a way so that they are orthogonal perpendicular or not interfering with each other but still we have pressed those frequency so that they exist together right so just assume that we have uh, just say that you have two hands and then th there are frequencies in between 3 or 4 and then you just press it bring your hand together this is how you do it so the peak of the first wherever there is a peak of first there will be zero for others the peak of the second there will be zero for others that is the other frequencies will not be interfering with the frequencies in as a subject or in question okay so the peak of each signal will coincide with the zero crossing of all other signals that is how we achieve the orthogonality so carrier centers are put on orthogonal frequency the sub carriers are spaced by 1 by t that is the delta f frequency or you can say frequency is again 1 by t so if you see here this is a green signal and you you just see about blue and uh, red where are they when the green is peaking the red and blue they are zero when the red is peaking the other two are zero so when sending the digital data it is possible to divide the spectrum efficiently without the guard band because in fdm or frequency division multiplexing we have to give some part to the guard band and that is the wastage of that particular frequency being allot allocated so here we are dividing the spectrum efficiently in ofdm orthogonal frequency division multiplexing the channel bandwidth is divided into many carrier sub carriers you see different colors here that independently send data for example you have already seen in quadrature amplitude modulation this is how it is done so let me tell you again the orthogonality is the key one signal other will be orthogonal to it so the sub carriers are packed tightly together as i just said in the frequency domain we just imagine about pushing all these together so these signals or the signal from each sub carrier extend into adjacent ones that is the one frequency you can say one wave the other will be properly uh, the will be contributing or will be in figure you will see they are crossing each other so the frequency response of each sub carrier is designed so that the zero at the center of the, of the adjacent sub carrier other will be at zero when one will be peaking so the sub carriers can therefore be sampled at their central frequencies because others are not interfering the neighbors are not interfering but still we need to have a guard time i am not saying the guard bands will be there but a guard time is surely needed to repeat the portion of the symbol signals in time so that they have the desired required frequency response because now these are packed together and this ofdm we are using 4g it is used there so ofdm is used in 802.11 this is the wireless lan standard cable networks power line networking and the 4g four generation cellular system ofdm